sometimes you have to you have to fit the expressions don't you <laughs> uh, in a team environment in a team sport usually the newcomers are always looked after because okay. at some point all of us have made debut all of us have been a newcomer so we all relate to that uh, feeling of you know getting into an unknown team one is of course the the um, inclusion of so much of money that spins into it and second is the fan base i am from ott play uh firstly uh, i want to know we all were waiting after you announced your retirement we were waiting ki at least when women's premier league will come you will come back and play so why not i think um see when you've played when you had such a long career sometimes you know you've given it all um i realized that you know women's premier league there, there was still months to go and um i just felt that my playing days i was very clear in my mind that you know if i take retirement it would be from pretty much from all forms um but yes i was very keen to be associated with uh, in wpl in in another capacity and i'm very happy to be uh, you know a mentor come advisor for gujarat giants uh, because man you have always told that you have been a mentor on field because you yeah. have been playing your longevity of playing as lot so you have always nurtured young players so is this mentorship going to be way different because now you're not on field you have to do everything off field well it in in some in some ways yes it's a, a little different than as a player or as a captain that you can mentor because there you are right in the middle and you're able to help them while they are experiencing um, certain situations or uh, strategies but here yes that is limited you can uh, you can help them during training or even during the match but l- the other pa- the other side of the rope um but i think i'm i'm quite excited for this role as well because uh that time as a captain i was able to do it now as a mentor full time i'll be there with the girls uh, and i'm really looking forward uh, you know to, for the wpl to start uh, how did this partnership with you and gujarat happen well um i i think you know the, they were also keen to get uh, get into wpl i was i was also very keen to be part of a wpl as i said uh, in in some capacity and when they came came to me as for the mentor role i grabbed on to it because i think um you know you you can really do a lot more uh in terms of helping the uncapped players the domestic players and and also just not uh, get my experience i will also learn in in some way uh, interacting with the overseas players uh, you know for how they approach the game uh, and how how do they read the game and in some way if i can collab it with our own understanding the way we indians play and try to extract the best and probably transfer that into the domestic players i think some way we are we are then able to build a very strong um pool of players i would say right now we do have players but again by the time they play indian team uh, there is still something lacking in them maybe through wpl through all these experience the next time a youngster or a player is debuting for india they'll be in a very different uh situation yeah. they'll be far more confident uh back with much better skills and that is what we are looking at oh uh, yeah because during the auction i saw like y'all went very heavy on overseas players and then y'all went with a lot of young new uncapped and under 19 players so was this always the plan to go with fresh raw talent with lot of experience it is, in it is also yes um as you rightly said we wanted this mixture is because see at the end of the day it is in india and it should help our players True. you know th- that's that's precisely why we having this league that we are trying to expand pool of players trying to build good quality players through the league and economically also it will do a lot more for the for the players who come from not so affluent families so True. there are so many things um with the league and for me it is very important that i not only get the best for the team but i also develop a talent mm. you know through this franchisee and that's what even gujarat giants believe because uh, 
through the sports line they also support other athletes from different disciplines mm -hmm. you know True. and this is one of the reasons why i wanted to also work with gujarat giants is that they support system towards women athletes and uh, the same thing i envision here through the franchise is to uh, pick raw talent and then groom them and finish give a finished product to the indian team so tomorrow when we compete in the icc events we are on par with mm -hmm. the best uh how was the auction like because you were looking so serious during the auction table and you were like well oh. sometimes you have to, you have to fake the expressions don't you <laughs> true but what did you feel anything like first auction first everything was basically first for everyone seeing women cricketers on the screen also well not necessarily the... first for all the franchisee it could be the yeah. first for two franchisees yeah. um our our uh, Uh, staff of course for all of us it was a first timer and uh, to be very honest it was fascinating to sort of put everything together um, as a team to work on 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 our concept of uh, what sort of a team that we would want and um, to go through the auction yes it it was one of its kind experience Uh, I actually wanted to know. Now you're now there's going to be fanboys, but obvious. The young uncapped players are coming in, looking at you. They will be having that fanboy moment. Not just you, even the other players, the foreign players. How are you going to be making sure, like, you no, know, like the energy is good. Let them be, but curb down the fanboy moment. Well, I think that is that is one of the um, things for a mentor to look into. and uh, i'm i'm sure the girls are very keen because while i was part of the domestic season this year just before the auction happened we had a, a our one day domestic season and i was part of the team and i i did get to talk to many uh, players and uh, they were also very keen and excited to be um, a part of a league like this and um, it's it's going to be interesting exciting and uh, something that all of us players and staff are looking forward to uh, to getting onto the ground uh, and see how things work out for all of us yeah because then it's also vice versa we don't is it going to be the ego clash because you know seniors are there and then you have suddenly uncapped and under 19 players is it going to be the power dominance showing ki i i have experience internationally i have played well, I, i don't think so see because um you know when when we talk about professional athletes when they come on to the ground they do get the experience and um, as players each and every player would only want to help the other player to get better at the end of the day you want the team to do well because no matter how much it is um individual uh, performance if the if, if only the team wins then it is it, it 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 makes you feel happy so i'm sure the the senior players understand that and uh, uh it's it's always uh, in a team environment in a team sport usually the newcomers are always looked after okay. because at some point all of us have made debut all of us have been a newcomer so we all relate to that uh, feeling of you know getting into an unknown team and mm -hmm. uh, as seniors we uh, we relate to that so we will be more than helpful to all the young players who come in just wanted to know there has been wp wbbl there has been the 100 but always cricketers are spoken about when will the women's premier league happen why is that holding such importance um one is of course the the uh, inclusion of so much of money that spins into it and second is the fan base i truly believe the the way ipl has so many people it gives work to so many people there's so many people following ipl and uh, the viewership that it garners mm -hmm. and similarly wpl also will have that standing at some point the fan base that the overseas players have will be a lot more in the subcontinent because cricket is huge here and uh, every every indian is so mad about the sport so uh, when you when you play in a packed stadium recently india australia that they played at home yeah. last year you've seen um bcc has done a huge uh, thing about marketing it you know seeing the huge hoarding because i was in mumbai for just a couple of days and drive through i've seen this huge hoarding of telling that there is india australia series happening uh, you open the 
the first page of uh, a news, uh, the mainstream newspaper that you see a half a page of an ad. So I think when all these things are happening, you would want to be in the middle. You want to be part of that. And that is why for everybody, they want to be part of WPL. It is a huge, and I'm sure it would be one of the uh, topmost uh, women's uh, league in the world. Uh, last question. You have been basically the flag bearer when it came to women cricket. Like, no, you say women cricket, your name is just comes out. So you came, then you brought pay parity, everything. Now, what next is Mithali Raj's goal when it comes to women cricket? Well, right now, my immediate goal is, goal is to see Gujarat Giants doing well in the WPL, playing the finals, getting her hand on the cup. Uh, but my longer goal, of course, is to uh, see many more girls from Gujarat Giants go on to play for India. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. It was lovely speaking to you. Thank you so much for your input.